VLC back at it again, this time with this 32 gigabyte extreme, and extreme it is as far as a ton of ROMs. 15,000 ROMs packed on a little 32 gigabyte SD card. Um, not much N64, not much PlayStation, and no Dreamcast. Um, this is going to have a ton of CPC, 1980s, 1990s, tons of retro games. MSX is on here. And for example, Nintendo, you go in here, it's all sorted in folders as prototypes, ROM hacks, translated games, unlicensed game, the entire English collection, and the Japanese collection. So you got over 1,400 ROMs in Nintendo. So if you're looking for those classic 8-bit, 16-bit, and, and, and older, and around that genre games, look no further. And if you're wondering how is he able to do this on a 32 gigabyte, it is down and dirty. You know, no, no video snaps, no artwork, just the games, just the ROMs. So let's go ahead and check this out. We don't have to tell you that video games are taking this country by storm. In 1980, Americans spent $3.3 billion playing video games. Some like the sport almost, parts of it, coordination and developing patterns. It lets you release some of your tensions. It you know, lets you think from, from it that you're a part of a spaceship destroying aliens that are attacking the Earth. Good just to sit down and not have to think for a while and just blow things up. This is a good way of taking out your aggressions without doing any harm. So this is rocking 29.2 gigabyte file at 31,439,000,000. 439 454,000 bytes. So make sure you have a high quality 32 gigabyte SD card or a 64. And uh, if you do a 64, you can add some on to it. It does have the GPIO shutdown script all ready for you. It also has the collections and gameless utility, the bezel project, background music, and the jukebox, um, Genesis to Mega Drive script. So jumping on in here, we have Sega Genesis 32X, 35 of those. It's pretty much all of them. Super Famicom 486 with some extra translations in here. This is what you don't find on a lot of other images. That's cool to ha see SG-1000. You have the European, Japan, and then some multi-vision titles as well. Uh, Super Nintendo. We got English, prototypes, ROM hacks, Satellaview, translations, unlicensed. So a lot of fun to playing some of those games. Super Graphics 5. TurboGrafx 94, Vetrix 20, Philips Video Pack 66. This, this theme is really fast. That's right, huh, little Drew? All right, uh, Virtual Boy 24, WonderSwan 109. It's a big collection there. WonderSwan Color 89, Infocom. You got the Zorks, CX Sinclair 375. So not a huge collection there. Uh, all games rocking over 15,000. Last played. We'll play some of these later. There's some good in there. Good ones in there. Amiga 342, uh, CPC 3159, Arcade Classics, over 1,500 arcade games. So all your favorite arcade games should be on here. Quite a few. You can hit select, jump to a letter, G, for example, and all those G games. Atari 2600, 648, Atari 7860, Atari Lynx 76, Commodore 64, 147, Coley, Co, Vision, we got 146, Dreamcast, none, this is just start Rycast, and uh, stay tuned, I'll show you how to make, clean up this image just a little bit, make it look a little nicer. Family Computer System, 153, and you got some translations on here as well. Um... Family Computer Disk System 157, Game & Watch 55, Game Gear 363, Game Boy 681, Game Boy Advance 919. We've got some ROM hacks in here. These are cool to see some Pokemon, Metroid, Super Robot. Game Boy as well, ROM hacks, translations, unlicensed, prototypes, Diablo, Jap Japanese titles and English titles. So 681 there. Game Boy Color 600. 15, again, unlicensed, translations, hacks, prototypes, Japanese titles, English titles, Master System, Brazil titles, English titles, Japan titles, ROM hacks, Sega Mark III titles, Sega Genesis. And again, you can hit that script, change this to Mega Drive very easily. And you got English, Japan, prototypes, ROM hacks, South America, 
Duke Nukem 3D. Translations unlicensed. Prototypes, it's quite a few. MSX 567, MSX 282. Just as these four, only eight. I can vouch that all these games run on the Raspberry Pi. B plus, no problem. Nintendo, I think we already, did we already start there? Yeah, we already started there. Neo Geo Pocket, Neo Geo Pocket Color. Oh, no, no, we started at 32X. So Nintendo, 1,443 games. Neo Geo Pocket, 9. Neo Geo Pocket Color, 46. We got a couple of Zoric games. And PSP, Castlevania, Little Big Planet. And PlayStation. You got some Crash Bandicoot, Mortal Kombat, Spyro the Dragon, Tekken, Twisted Metal, 2. All right. Um, so... What did I want to see? I want to see if we had bezels. So let's just do a Super Nintendo game really quick. See what bezels are rocking there. See if the bezel projects are installed. Default emulators look good so far. Okay, so it looks like no... Okay, so no scan lines, no bezels for that. I wanted to see what the portable systems look like really quick and the arcade systems look like. So with arcade, let's jump to... Huh. Let's do some. Oh, we're on Atari. Let's do some Galaga 88. Okay. So it looks like the um, controller's working great, by the way. Afterglow. Uh, but it looks like the bezel project is not pre-installed. So you could choose to add that bezel project or not. I hope that's not too loud. What is our sound settings at? Ooh, sorry. Okay, so it's arcade. And then I want to see like what Game Boy looked like really quick. Okay, so it is slightly stretched. You could definitely alter the resolution by holding A and changing the resolution. There you go. And I think that's pretty much it. Show you some Nintendo 64 performance. Dang, look at that apexing those corners. Don't you know what up? Squirtle's got it going on. All right, so N64 performance is good. All right, so what I did is I went to my network, went to my RetroPie, went to my ROMs, and uh, remember Dreamcast was showing up. All I do is I click this, I rename, and I take away the H, so now it's no longer an SH file. And if I ever want this file, if I ever want to add Dreamcast ROMs or do something later, I could just go ahead and add the H back really easily, right? So I just deleted the H. And then I did that for residual VM and scum VM. So it's .s now, not .sh. And residual VM. Whoa. By the way, this is where all your ROMs are. So remember, Mega Drive had all the English, Japanese prototypes are all in here. Prototypes, Japanese, English, South America, translations, unlicensed. Okay, so that's how you get to your ROMs, but also that's how you hide. And then the only thing, last thing I would do is just restart your Raspberry Pi. And then the next time you reboot, you will no longer see residual, residual VM or scum VM or Dreamcast on your menu there. And it'll be nice and tidy, um, you know, for the rest. And then if you want to get rid of systems, you can just delete the whole folder if you really want to, um, you could do that as well, but up to you. All right, there you go. So in case you're wondering, it does have an attract mode um, shell um, with like the settings and everything in it. 
looks like a motion blue shell, but um, when you go in, it's not configured. So you got all the systems, but um, and the videos, but no, uh, and you see the games, but uh, no video snaps or uh, logos there. So you can add those, expand the system, and add those if you want. But uh, you know, I wouldn't. Be, that's the whole point of this whole image is it's compact, only ROMs, not a lot of flashy stuff. So I would leave it on Emulation Station. PSP works great. PlayStation works great. So here you have it. VLC. I mean, we got to count how many systems we have here. One, two, three, four. 8, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Is that right? Did I just count that correctly? So 40 systems, 15,000 games, everything running great. Nice, beautiful themes. Works on the Raspberry Pi B+. And um, if you want games, you want those translations, those hacks, those prototypes, you know, complete ROM set sets where, you know, some of these games are kind of garbage, but other games are actually quite interesting. And if you really love a certain game and they've made kind of this hack of it or a different version of it, it you know, keeps you entertained and it like lets you play something you love a little longer and a little different version of it, like Super Mario World or Super Mario Brothers. So a lot of fun stuff all around. And uh, so for all those reasons, I got to give this an A plus. If you're looking for video snaps, you're looking for these gorgeous images with all this extra bling on it. Um, then, you know, this one might not be for you, but if you're just looking for, you know, give me the games, don't give me anything else. I want a fast, clean theme, and uh, it looks beautiful, runs great, and it's well organized. For all those reasons, it's really cool. So that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. So the last little thing that you might want to do to this image is, um, it has residual VM, scum VM, and Dreamcast on the menu here. I already hid the other ones. You might be wondering, well, what's the easiest way to hide them? You know, they're only here because the emulator is on the screen. You know, there's really no purpose. I mean, you, unless you like this photo here. But uh, I want to get rid of that, right, Dreamcast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug my Pi into my network or connect to my Wi-Fi. Uh, personally, I'm just on my network. And I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my computer, which is also on the network.